I'm riding solo today, no Sally in the kitchen, but it's me, Dane, I'm kitchen manager of our shop here in Soho, and um, I've come in especially to show you how to make our most quintessential autumnal crumbs and doilies cupcake, it's pumpkin spice. Sally texted me the other day and she said, hey, do you want to film pumpkin spice cupcakes? And I was like, hell yeah. But we thought, why have we never filmed this before? So I'm going to show it to you right now. And the first thing we're going to start with is making the sponge. So I'm going to crack my eggs straight into my bowl. So to my three eggs, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. You can use sunflower oil as well, just anything tasteless. And then to that, I'm going to add my pumpkin, the most important thing in this recipe. I've got canned pumpkin here, a cup and a half. But if you can't find canned pumpkin, you can always use fresh. Just um, peel it, roast it, scoop it out and blitz it in a food processor to get it nice and smooth. It'll be quite liquidy as well, so you might want to strain it through a fine sieve. Right, so I'm just going to grab my balloon whisk and whisk that all together till it's nice and smooth. So that's all nice and smooth and I've got my sugars here. I've got 145 grams of caster sugar and the same amount of dark brown sugar. It gives it a nice kind of molasses-y rich flavour. So that's all nice and smooth. I've got my spices next, which I'm going to add to my flour, and I've got some bicarb as well. So I've got a teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon, three quarter teaspoons of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and three quarters of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, which I'm going to add straight to my self-raising flour, which I've got 225 grams. Finally, I'm going to add half a scant teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients to my pumpkin mix. I'm just going to whisk this all together till it's a nice smooth batter. There's a lot of whisking in this recipe. Cool, so I've got my mixture here. It's quite thick and also quite liquidy. So it's going to make it a little bit of a harder job to get them in at the cases. So I've got um, a jug here, which I'm just going to pour my mixture into and then we can spoon it into the cases. Alrighty, so I've got about two dessert spoons full in each case and um, I filled them up a little bit higher because this mixture doesn't have as much air in it, we've not beaten anything together to get that volume, so they need a little bit of extra help to get that voluptuousness in the cupcake. I'm going to bake these at a lower temperature at 150 degrees for about 18 to 19 minutes as is usual. We'll just do a little press test to see if they spring back. Okay, so my cupcakes are out, they are cooling down, and now it's time to get on with making the cool cream cheese frosting that we're gonna pop on top. So I've got some really soft and salted butter here, 125 grams, it's gonna go straight into my bowl. And then I'm just gonna whip that together with my electric hand beater. You can use a stand mixer if you want, or by hand if you've got some muscle, just until it's nice and pale and fluffy. The butter has gotten a lot more pale in colour, so next I'm going to add my cream cheese, 200 grams straight from the fridge, and I'm just going to beat that together with the butter so it's nice and smooth, got no lumps in there. That's had a good 30, 40 seconds beating, and, um, oh, does that sound a bit aggressive? <laughs> It's had a good 30, 40 seconds mixing in the bowl. Next, it's time for the icing sugar. So I've got 700 grams of icing sugar here, which I've sifted, and I'm just gonna add half, and then we're gonna give it a good whip up, and then we'll add the other half.
And if you guys wanted to get your hands on some of these snazzy reusable piping bags that I'm using, we have them available on cupcakegemma.com, so make sure you check those out. Right, time to ice. Lastly, I'm just going to finish them with a nice flourish of some toasted pumpkin seeds. Pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes just until um, I can start to smell toasted pumpkin. And um, they kind of puff up a little bit like rice and it just gives them a really nice flavour. Then I chop them up. Right, it's time to try this little guy. Mm. That is so good. It's the perfect balance between those spices, the pumpkin, and that cool tangy cream cheese frosting on top. And you get that little crunch from the pumpkin seeds as well, which is just insane. So I hope you guys check this recipe out and I hope you guys make it. If you do, don't forget to tag at Cupcake Gemma and use the hashtag Cupcake Gemma as well. And um, don't forget to check out all the other recipes on our channel. If you wanna see what I've been up to recently, check me out at Dame Pemberton on Instagram. And um, Sally, I'll see you next week with another recipe. <laughs>